What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So another night in the shed. Uh, obviously after the last video you would have um, seen that we um, had the S13, um, sorry we didn't, but Mitch had the S13 down at D1NZ Manfield for Pro. Um, ran into a few issues with the car, with um, oiling issues, classic RB things. So um, just running so much grip and such a stress on everything. Uh, in pro makes it really hard on the car and uh, yeah it was just blowing oil everywhere so uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do about that whether we have to try and go dry sump um, or not but that's just another five to ten grand or whatever and it's just like where do you stop so um, yeah I don't know we'll see but the car came back mainly in one bit it uh, um, already obviously I gave it to him with a bashed up rear end but he got another hit from Ben Jenkins because uh, the car actually cut out in front of Ben so that was a shame, but yeah, still um, yeah, stoked to um, have him out there driving it and well not and giving it a hell of a go. He said it was good when it was good and working, so um, yeah, just a shame. The car is like 95% ready for pro if it wanted to, but he just said, yeah, it was just too inconsistent with um, the oil cuts and stuff, which is a shame, but obviously that's just the link ECU doing its job and um, saving the motor, so yeah. It's a shame that he couldn't get the results that he was after, but Hey, um, I guess it's better than sitting on the couch. So, yeah, anyway, we are here with this. So, um, Steph actually just brought us down dinner. We had nachos tonight, beauty. Um, we are here with this car, and we're going to pull the motor out tonight. So, Marsh is ready for the mahi, and, yeah, it's... Um, the turbo's not too happy either. Um, it's got a bit of play in it. We just pulled the um, pipe off, but pretty much, yeah, we're just going to unplug everything and do our best we can. It is going to be a bit difficult because obviously this motor, or this car, doesn't have a tube front. So it's going to be a bit tight and whatnot, but oh, we'll give it our best shot. Used to we'll, tight places. Used to tight places, Marlboro. Oh, the bro got attacked by the vacuum cleaner. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to get into this. Um, hopefully it's, the damage isn't too bad because it shut off as we shut off at the end of the section and whatnot so hopefully it's not too bad but um yeah it's all good did you enjoy your first drift day love it was awesome it was awesome you did really well it was uh cool to watch so hopefully you guys have all seen the last video and saw her driving and then you saw me wreck this thing so yeah we're gonna got our table set up here and our lights because we are still got the shitty lighting until we um get kurt over for that but uh yeah I guess let's just get into it. We're going to drain all the fluids out and then we'll put it, well, we'll do all the top stuff and then we're going to go up on the hoist and um, do it that way. So, yeah, fun times. This is oil everywhere. So, hope, I don't know what the damage is going to be, but we'll see. And what doesn't help is that actually the sump is a factory sump. <laughs> Whoopsie, I didn't actually know that. I thought it had a baffled and winged sump. But no, it does not. So this car will definitely be getting at least that. Um, yeah, all right, we're going to about to drain the oil and see what comes out. <laughs> oh, no. I think that's supposed to be the aim, or Brother! I was wondering why there was not much in the, uh... Fuck it, ooh, yummy. Oof. Brother. Oh, 
So what does that mean? Heat gasket. Yeah, so uh, anyone for a milkshake? It's like the whole, all the coolant was in the motor. I don't know. Bloody hell. So we're slowly chipping away at uh, pulling things apart. And uh, yeah, check this out. Put <laughs> a moss. <laughs> Put a go-go juice up there. Shit. There's water everywhere. Who knows? Goodness me. Alright, so Nick's here to supervise. And boy. But yeah, we're getting there slowly. We just think we've got a few more things to unplug. And then we'll go up and do the engine mounts and do the exhaust bell housing. Can you pull the motor forward off the box and leave the box in the place? Yeah. Okay, sweet. We'll do that. I wasn't sure if that was a thing or not. Oh, a little yeah. bit harder when you're getting it back in. Like yeah. Up, yeah. But. For now, we'll just get the box, uh, motor out and then we'll pull the box out probably later. Yep. I don't know. But yeah, we're getting there. Everything's just covered in oil. It's gross. Just doing the last few things. Starter motor, top gearbox bolts are out. Um, they're probably not going to go back in. What do you got going on down here, pal? Uh, VTEC controller. VTEC controller. Mm -hmm. It's We're getting there. Poor car. And the crane is out. We're just going to get a strop or something. Just to, no, I reckon. Just yeah, just let it drop and oh my god, derby. No good. So yeah, let's drop it up. Hopefully it comes out. No worries. And here she comes, hopefully. Yeah, and then you just pull it forward. Uh, so we got the engine out. Alex is here. Oh, hello, kia ora. <laughs> He's on his way back to Christchurch driving a bloody new car. You and your bloody wife are shocking. Um, yeah, so we just got the motor out. We're going to take the plugs and see what they look like in the holes. See if there's any pistons missing. Hmm, interesting. Far out. <laughs> look at the wiring. Goodness me. <laughs> oh well. Marsh, you want to paint the engine bay, please? Cheers, right. thanks. I'll give you a seven dollar pepperoni pizza. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Alright, so five and six are okay. Or seem to be. That's a good finger fin good finger game there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You, there, you, you should get Marsh to do it. That's right, it's really this number six or something. Well, like it has water on it. So all of the spark plugs look fine. In some people's opinion. <laughs> yeah. Wait, In the Honda guy's Wait, opinion. No, I, <laughs> I don't even know what six spark plugs is. What do you need six Yeah, plugs? what the fuck? You got spares? <laughs> you run factory spares? Uh, so no, I don't know. It's going to be something going on. The rod hasn't come out the side. So it must be in internally ruined something. Could it be as simple as a head gasket? It could. Nah, because it was making the fucked up noises. But if it's made a bad noise, it's either from hydraulic, but it's probably meant to roll if that's what's done that. You'll be able to see that from either by the whipping the head off or by flipping the upside down and having a look under the sun. Mm. If one of the pistons comes down further, you know. Are we just trying to wedge it mm. anywhere? Oh, fucking sealed up. Sealed up. Now you can hear Fuck it. Fuck me, what a day. Two counts cacked on on the fucking southern motorway. <laughs> well, that's fucking inconvenient, isn't it? It was. <laughs> what? Some dude went like, some, someone, I don't know, dude, I was just paraphrasing. Someone went down the wrong fucking way oh, down yeah. the motorway at four in the morning and had a head on with another cunt. In Waikato. There's a Waikato yeah, Express, just, yeah. Just like five minutes south of fucking Hankins. Well, that's fucking a lesson. And that caused like an hour delay. And Google Maps was like, there's an hour delay. Well, there's, there's a. There's a delay on the motorway, and I was like, 
oh yeah, whatever, there's a fucking delay or whatever, if it's a crash, like, you know, <laughs> sort of and it's all good. And then there's all these signs like crash, blah, 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 crash, crash, crash. I was just like, what the hell? And then we're like, no, Someone we'll, just go, away. we'll just go down the motorway and all of a sudden the arrival time changed from 10.20 to 10, no, 9.20 to 10.50. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. That's a problem, eh? That was a problem. <laughs> So don't just don't fuck the edge of the sump. Well, you should be putting an extended one on this anyway. No? This well, I didn't realise it didn't even have that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Surely. I thought we knew that. The bloody text has been running a stop. I didn't know that. <laughs> I found that like I had no RB oil problems until I put a lock in on my car, and then just all these problems start coming. <laughs> <Yeah. through. laughs> Surely, you ready? Oh, it's piston and pieces. <laughs> yes, it's hydraulics. Nah, it's hydraulics and it's bent the rod. Well, that's... Or is that a rod? That's... that's... on cast. Cradle. Just a cradle. Yeah, number six. Oh, brother. Oh, cousin. <laughs> You're missing a bit there, pal. How we'll get a light on there, Marsh. Number six left the chat. That will throw the rod No. Oh, well, it's tried yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, that, it's, that's it there. Yeah, it's tried to, yeah. Let's not turn that around. Yeah, that, that was the rod, and that's the main caps. Is the piston still on there? Sideways, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, boy! Oh, the piston's oh, like I just gotta go do that. Yeah. yeah, so that stuff's not meant to be in there. And. That shit's not meant to be there. So, yep. It's like cracked the cradle, but it's blown the bottom of the piston. Look at the rod, bro. It's just chilling there. Cracked. At the bottom. It's cracked. Bro, it's only cracked. Yeah, it's only cracked. <laughs> like, it's yeah, only a little crack. crack. A little fracture. Minor. That's a compound fracture, that bastard. Those pieces, there's only two cracks. <laughs> yeah, two cracks. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Probably should have lifted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely should have lifted. Lift, <laughs> Fuck. The engine just kept up, right? Hey, and there's copper in there too. Oh, yeah, yeah that would be. Or brass from the. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Whoopsie. Sorry, Steph. Alright, so that is the um, that is the outcome of what happened the other day. We also do still have this motor, but we're not going to use it. We'll get this one. We'll get a new one for this car. I think I want to keep keep going on this car. The Ceph. We'll get um, get that car built as well one day. But yeah, we'll get a new motor for this one, um, and try not to do that again because that was a bit silly. Uh, so if you'd like to buy some milk, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything. But um, yeah, shout out to the boys for being here. Alex for supervising, and um, yeah. Post -up. Oh well. Who would buy Jimmy Oaks match? Nah. Run nah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he blew up my car. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that. What we're gonna do for now? That uh, the motor's gonna get sent to chicken. Airfine turbo, and then he's going to get another block, and then he's going to build us up a good motor, and then yeah, that's kind of where we're going to go. It'll be a few upgrades. We'll put a bigger sump on it, um, check the turbo, do a few things that we want to do, um, a, tire, a trigger kit and stuff. So yeah, other than that, well done, Marsh. Yep, another 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 day. Yeah, yeah. Almighty uh, pocket pocket for Marsh. We're going to get a chest cam for the GoPro for Marsh so you can show your smokos. <laughs> yeah, always on smoko. You work way harder with a durry in your mouth, eh? <laughs> also, we've got this over here, which we... I kind of want to put this into the Laurel when we do the whole engine back end kind of deal. So I might talk to Chuck and see if I can send this to him as well. But that's another story, that one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go home now. We've got to go to work it's like fuck work sucks during the day it's like working during the week is just hard work but um yeah the car the motor's out so it's gonna hit the chicken he's gonna check it over see what everything else like whatever else the damage is because 
If the head's wrecked, then we need to do that. But if it's just the block, then I think he's got one, he reckons. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can kind of just make it all work and get this car back up and running as soon as possible. We kind of want it for Bay Park because if my S13 is um, playing up, then we can just jump in the Laurel. But, I don't know, we're just going to have to play it all by ear, really. It's going to be a busy couple of weeks. It's my birthday coming up next week. So this weekend's my 30th. So, um, yeah, it's a social club if anyone wants to come. Well, it's going to be sick, hopefully. We've got a few people coming. Um, yeah, so it's in Rotorua, so it's going to be a good weekend. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to have to play it all by ear because my car's still over there on the trailer and it needs a hell of a tidy up and it's just been well used and abused and it yeah needs some love but one more round to go i'm not going to change the back end i'm just going to run it because there's no point um spending any time on that and then straight after bay park that car is going to get stripped down i think and um it's got a few things coming um that we'll release in the next video or in the next coming couple of weeks because um i think we're working on something pretty cool um, and yeah, I hope that we can make it happen, so I'll let you guys know when we do, uh, because it's just all about getting people out to New Zealand, to get them out here to drive, to meet everyone, because I know all of you guys cannot go over to the States or um, Australia or anything um, to meet all these guys, so I want to try and bring them all here, um, so we need to get my both cars up to scratch. I do want to finish this Ceph so Marshall can one drive and then two we can have it as another car that people can drive so yeah it's all fun and games it's just a lot of work a lot of money and um, yeah and then we obviously just moved into our house so it's making things it's fun and it's nice to own our own house but it's just like so much going on in like the next two weeks or whatever and then we've got our event Aussie Assault coming up in like three weeks so if you guys have a Ford, Holden or Valiant, make sure you head to choiceevents.co.nz and enter into Aussie Assault, which is like Saturday, Sunday, May 6th and 7th, and you can, uh, like there's your burnouts, cruising, uh, roll racing, grip sessions and stuff, so yeah, make sure you do come out and check it out. Someone's given me a call, so I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks heaps for, um, for watching, and yeah, congrats, on, congrats to Steph for her driving the other day. I was real proud of her, so yeah, see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.